हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर सुरेंद्र कौर प्रोफेसर खालसा कॉलेज ऑफ एजुकेशन रंजीत एवेन्यू अमृतसर वेल स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक टीचर मैनेजमेंट एंड डेवलपमेंट इश्यूज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द टॉपिक आर डिस्क्राइब टीचर मैनेजमेंट एंड डिवेलपमेंट इशूज एक्सप्लेन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ टीचर मैनेजमेंट इन द क्लासरूम discuss the dimensions of classroom management highlight teacher management in the schools illustrate teacher management in the community and discuss the development issues of teacher management in the modern era a teacher has a number of responsibilities as our society becomes very complex teacher has to play several roles in the classroom the knowledge of teaching training and instruction can be effectively used by the teacher in managing classroom activities teacher management therefore forms a significant area for effective management of the education system the important qualities of the teacher are sincerity honesty and involvement in the teaching it brings excellence in the classroom management teacher's behavior which is shaped by her values attitude and beliefs determines to a large extent the nature of interactions that takes place in the classroom school and society at large now first of all we will talk about teacher management in the classroom as you know very well that classroom management is one of the major responsibility of the teacher a teacher has to play a role of a manager to organize his classroom activities it is the most difficult job of a teacher but he has to direct and control the classroom activities the main focus of classroom activities is to generate conducive learning situations the quality of the teacher and training teachers depend upon the quality of classroom management the teacher as the management expert of the class uses his manager's ability authority and leadership qualities which are the key to the classroom management it is very dynamic a complex and difficult process of education the teachers various tasks are related to certain variables such as time available for the teacher and students space in the classroom learning material and resources and form of rewards and punishments generally adopted by the teacher classroom management has a wide spectrum of task and activities involving mainly the teacher and the student with the supporting factors such as resources available the climate of the classroom and those of the college it does not limit itself to the management of the classroom alone but has a far reaching goal of the development of the students to become independent through a sound scientific and value oriented system of education now the question arises why the problems of classroom management are faced by the teachers well the problems of classroom management are closely linked to the larger concerns of teaching styles motivation interest strategies for ensuring success the effect of group forces and the incorporation of mental hygiene principles into daily classroom practices these may be desirable attributes to develop but they will not help in managing the classroom other practical steps have to be taken to manage the classroom management is based on certain principles like teacher should build good relations with students for effective classroom management there should be set rules routine and procedures for smooth functioning of teaching learning process teacher should maintain a fair firm and friendly professional image in front of the students 
Students' behavior should be actively monitored by the teacher to reduce classroom disruption. Extensive, frequent and specific feedback should be given by the teacher to provide adequate reinforcement to the students for their continuous improvement. In managing classroom activities, a teacher has to consider dimensions of classroom management. So classroom management consists of four dimensions that are physical dimension or environment dimension, social and cultural dimension, psychological dimension, ethical considerations and value dimension. Now we will discuss these dimensions one by one. First of all, physical dimension or environment dimension, a classroom is a functional unit of an educational institution. The location, building, lawn and classrooms are designed by the founder of the institution. The classroom management concerns with the sitting arrangement, light arrangement, air arrangement and blackboard facilities. A teacher as a manager has to look into these facilities of the classroom which helps in creating conducive environment for learning. And second one is social and cultural dimensions. A classroom is a miniature of the society as well as of the institution. A classroom management involves social relationship and cultural environment which depends on the following these relations which we will discuss such as teacher and taught relationship, relationship among students, relationship between teacher and principal, relationship among teachers. A teacher must know the background of his students, their entering behavior, learning abilities and interest because new society is shaped in the classrooms of an educational institution by exposing the students to desirable social and cultural environment. Next one is psychological dimension. It is rightly said that no learning takes place without motivation. The main focus of classroom management is to facilitate learning. Teacher motivates his students verbally and through actions that is non-verbally. He also reinforces their desirable behavior. In the classroom, teacher raises the level of aspiration of the students. Teacher involvement in classroom management encourages the students participation also. The psychological dimension plays a significant role in the students participation and their learning. It is a criterion for an effective classroom management. Next one is ethical consideration or value dimension. It is the most important dimension of the classroom management. Teacher influences the student's behavior. He has to maintain classroom code and conduct, which should be value based. This dimension of classroom management involves feelings, attitudes, values and affective domain of the students. Now let's focus on teachers management in the school. Teacher gets opportunities to come in contact with administrators in their daily routine work and develop harmonious relations with them. His main function as a manager of the school is planning, organizing, supervising and coordinating. Supervision is considered to be an essential tool in any educational system to control and improve the school functioning. So, teacher has to involve students in daily activities of institution like annual functions and in co-curricular activities. They should provide two-way communication channel. There should be regular opportunities for dialogue among students, teachers and administrators. Each institute should design its own program of student involvement and this will entail more than giving a new life to students. Students should be given an opportunity to lead group discussion, 
to participate in departmental faculty meetings to evaluate the academic progress of their peers and class instructional program. The mere knowledge of the availability of such opportunities encourages the students to work in close collaboration with the teachers and administrators rather than to stand against them. Today's students are living in a very competitive and stressful environment. As such, they may show up disturbing behavioral pattern like unusual angry reactions, excessive fighting, bullying, remaining in isolation, lacking friends, which may be indication of some serious problem in the child. In such cases, students need counseling, so the teachers have to examine the academic and learning related problems of the students in relation to their psycho, social and economic environment. The teachers create an atmosphere in which students feel free and are motivated to learn at school as well as at home. They also assist parents to cope up with issues in their everyday lives and tell them about ways and means to spare time to not disturbing behavioral pattern of the child. A sound management of school maintains the discipline and boosts the morale of pupils to behave appropriately. Discipline plays an important role in smooth functioning of an institute. It also helps in providing better work culture. Schools are encouraging the teachers to use collaborative learning styles rather than traditional informative style of teaching. The teacher with the help of leadership qualities guide, help and work with the students to achieve the common goals. Moving out of schools, let us talk about the significance of teacher management in the community. An educational institution does not exist in a vacuum. Teachers not only have to establish rapport with the learners, other teachers and administrators, but also have to create sound relationship with the parents and other community members also. Teachers relationship with the community should be cordial, understanding and cooperative. They also regularly take leadership positions within their schools and are involved in community organizations and non-profit centers such as Red Cross, Boys and Girls Clubs, Help Age, India etc. NGO also play a significant role in the field of education. As these organizations develop from within the communities and are more flexible in their approach, they work at the grassroots level and are therefore better placed to understand the people and respond to the needs of the people with a greater understanding as compared to the government subsystems which are created from outside. One can expect NGOs to reach the remote, far-flung areas where government may seldom reach. Even teachers are active members of their local government and are regularly involved as leaders in the government. Within the school setting, teachers encourage their students and colleagues to become involved in their local politics and create positive change in the community at large. So far, we have discussed about teacher management in the classroom, school and community. Now, let us focus on the issues related to the development of the teacher. First of all, development of teacher as a communicator. As we know, communication skills are vital for teachers. Effective teachers are always effective communicators. They communicate clearly about the objectives, content and evaluation of the course. 
effective teachers can take something that is complex and present it in a way that can be easily absorbed by the students. Communication is both receptive and expressive. Teachers must be skilled at listening to the students as well as explaining things clearly. Teachers need clarity of thought to present the material. They must be able to break down complex ideas into simpler parts and smaller steps to transmit these ideas to their students. They must be able to adopt their methods of communication to all students regardless of the ability or learning style. They are able to read their students and adopt to the needs of the individual. Teachers must be able to express themselves both verbally and in writing in order to report students progress to parents. They need to explain the strengths and weaknesses of their students so that parents will understand the message and be receptive rather than defensive. This is especially important when the teacher conveys a difficult message about the student's misbehavior or learning problems. Teachers should be comfortable in communicating with the parents regularly with phone calls and informal notes in addition to formal report cards. The second issue is development of teacher as a leader. A teacher is a leader who leads his students, institution, colleagues and community as a whole towards positive change. Effective teacher leaders are always open-minded and respectful of other views. They display optimism, enthusiasm and confidence. Many attributes of good teacher leaders are fundamentally the same as the attributes of good teachers that is persuasiveness, open-mindedness, flexibility, confidence and expertise in their field. Despite these similarities, however, working with colleagues is profoundly different from working with students and the skills that teachers learn in their preparation programs don't necessarily prepare them to extend their leadership beyond their own classrooms. To assume a leadership role, they may need expertise in curriculum planning, assessment design, data analysis and the like. Teacher leaders place their students learning as their primary goal and work within their own classroom to improve students achievement. Additionally, teacher leaders collaborate with other educators to extend their own learning, advance successful school improvement efforts through professional development and support shared vision and values. They are indeed professional educators as well as intellectual and critical learners in the teaching process. These teachers know that their learning did not end as they began their teaching career, but rather than teaching demands a continued commitment to the interrelationship of subject knowledge and educational practice. Now next point is development of teacher as a professional. Traditionally, teaching was a combination of information dispensing custodial child care and sorting out academically inclined students from others. Teachers were told what, when and how to teach. They were expected to teach using the same methods as used by past generations and any deviation from traditional practices was discouraged by supervisors. Thus, Many teachers simply stood in front of the class and delivered the same lessons year after year. Many teachers today, however, are encouraged to adopt 
new practices that acknowledge both the art and science of learning. They grasp that their most important role is to get to know each student as an individual in order to comprehend his or her unique needs, learning styles, social and cultural background, interest and abilities. Their job is to counsel students as they grow and mature, helping them integrate their social, emotional and intellectual growth. They must be prepared and permitted to intervene at any time and in any way to make use learning occurs. Most of the teachers have discovered how to make students passionate participants in the instructional process by providing them project based and participatory educational adventures. Students work harder when teachers give them a role in determining the form and content of their schooling, helping them to create their own learning plans. The day-to-day -day job of a teacher rather than broadcasting content is becoming one of the designing and guiding students through engaging learning opportunities. An educator's most important responsibility is to search out and construct meaningful educational experiences that allow students to solve real world problems. They are working with colleagues, family members, politicians, community members, employers and others to set clear and obtainable standards for the knowledge, skill and values. And the last one is development of teacher as technology expert. To integrate technology into their classroom, teacher must feel comfortable with the technology first. Technology is changing the way in within the school, colleges and departments of education prepare teachers and measure their success. Many teachers preparation programs currently require pre-service teachers to prepare well integrated PowerPoint lessons, conduct online research projects, participate in internet supported projects linked with students. Subsequently, these programs often expect students to prepare and maintain electronic portfolios and then encourage graduates to register online for possible teaching positions. The opportunities for productive application of technology are quite different today. Interactive computer-based writing labs allow students to read question and critic one another's essays in a way that traditional classroom writing processes never allowed. Teacher can now be evaluated not only by the knowledge they impart, but also by the appropriateness of the technological tools they have provided to the learner in their classroom and by their personal demonstration of the effective use of these tools. Appropriate technology use allows student-centered learning, flexible pacing based on students' abilities, distributed learning possible from any place and at any time, critical thinking in real-world contexts, collaboration and dialogue among students and between students and teachers, up-to-date primary information resources and parent-teacher communication available daily. To sum up, I would like to say that this topic discussed the concept of teacher management and development issues. Teacher management forms a significant area concern for effective management of the education system. The most important qualities of teacher are sincerity, honesty, and involvement in teaching. It brings excellence in classroom management. 
it is not only concerned with the success in short term but also with appropriate values and success of long term achievement effective teachers need to have good professional and personal skills content knowledge good planning clear goals and effective communication good classroom management and organization and consistently high and realistic expectations from the students besides they need to feel responsible for the students learning process regardless the students aptitude to learn the teachers having effective personal and professional skills serve as a example of lifelong learners and are investors of their own education moreover the effective teacher will combine professionalism with care understanding fairness and kindness they also have to be passionate enthusiastic motivated about teaching and learning they have to create a warm classroom environment where students feel comfortable and have a sense of belonging as the environment is conducive to learn effective teachers are innovative and invite students to approach and interact teacher has to involve students in daily activities of the institute like annual functions and in co curricular activities they should provide two way communication channel there should be regular opportunities for dialogue among students teachers and administrators so each institute should design its own program of student involvement thank you